I've seen a lot of crazy things in my life, but this has got to be up there. There was a seven-time WNBA All-Star, also a two-time WNBA champion, and she was also a Finals MVP. That's just some of her notable awards. She had many more. Most people even considered her to be one of the best 15 players in the league when she was playing. She wasn't just successful on the basketball court, but after basketball, she was living a great life too. She had multiple businesses, started up her own clothing line, and everything was good. The key word in the sentence I just said is was, because everything was good. In 2020, this is where things get very chaotic very fast because she went missing and then it was reported that she got kidnapped by LeBron James. I know exactly what you're sitting there thinking because I was thinking the same thing. If this was true, why is nobody talking about it? If you want me to answer that 100% honest, I have no idea because this should be getting talked about way more than it is. So therefore, it leaves us with the question today. What happened to the WNBA player who got kidnapped by LeBron James? What's good y'all? I hope you're having a blessed day. Just wanted to drop by and say if you're new to the channel or you like the content or anything, what are you doing? Join the family. Hit that subscribe button. It means a lot. And if you enjoyed the video, hit a like. Do all that nice stuff. Now without further ado, let's get into the story. All I'm gonna say is, is that you're in for a treat with this one. I'm not gonna do no intro. Let's just get straight into it. Cappy Pondexter is the female and the WNBA player we will be talking about in today's video. I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about her basketball career because there's not much to it and it's not the interesting part of this video. At the same time, I don't want to take anything away from her and I do want to give credit where it's due. She was a phenomenal player and she won almost every single award that a player can win. She was in the league from 2006 through 2018 and now this is where we can jump into the best parts. After she retired in 2018, this is when she took on another challenge in her life and she found a new hobby. She started up multiple businesses and invested in a lot of different things, but two of the notable moves she did was start her own clothing brand and a consulting firm. She saved up and used all the money from her NBA or WNBA career to do this, so I guess you could say she was pretty smart. According to all the reports and articles I read, her clothing brand was very successful and so was her consulting firm at the time. Of course, they were just startups and they weren't really in business for four to five years, so it's hard to judge what you think is success in a first year of business. In most people's eyes, if you break even in your first or second year of a business, that's a win. Even though she had successful businesses and was a successful WNBA player and probably had a lot of money, it didn't take fast for her life to go down a drastic and a bad turn. Flash forward in time to October 8th in 2020, she was arrested on a battery charge. She was arrested by the Los Angeles Police Department, but she refused to give them her name. So the name she was booked as in the jail was labeled as Jane Doe. Not too sure how they came up with that or what went on behind the scenes, but she got released in the next couple of days on a Thursday. Since she didn't get booked as Cappy Pondexter, most of her friends wasn't hearing back from her they weren't getting texts getting calls so they thought she was missing because remember she refused to give the police her name so they booked her as Jane Doe I hope all that's making sense and I hope all that adds up the same day she got released that was also the same day a missing persons report was filed and people all over the internet were looking for her it's not like she went missing for a week or two they found her relatively quickly and she identified herself. That was the first major red flag about her life because people were wondering what's going on. Is she going down a wrong path or is she doing something else? That was the only arrest that got out there to the public because I think the main reason is because she went missing and everybody's wondering where is this big NBA star at? However, that wasn't even the start to her downfall because in 2019, she was arrested on suspicion of public drunkness in Beverly Hills. That's around the same time, 2018 through 19, when she retired from the NBA. Or not the NBA, you know what I'm trying to say, the WNBA. But still, even with getting arrested in 2019 and 20 on some bad charges, nobody thought too much about this that was up until the most recent, well, weeks or months. Last month, July 2021, she posted some, how do I say this, 
odd videos on social media. I actually believe they were Instagram lives, but I've seen multiple videos of them. And from those videos and now in general, people can tell that it's quite obvious she is in some what some people say quote unquote mental distress and she has a quote unquote mental health problem i'm not a doctor so i'm not gonna diagnose this woman with some condition and say she has something because you know how touchy that subject is what i will say though is that there's something wrong with her and things aren't good in her head i'm going to throw up two different videos on the screen and I'm gonna try to bleep it out as bad as I can or as good as I can because there's a lot of vulgar language in it. I ain't confused. I ain't on that shit tried to kill me for real. I just can get out of that. I've been missing for almost like two years. I ain't even know where the fuck I was at. I do not fuck with LeBron James. I think it's a trafficker. And there is a trafficker. He is a trafficker. He trafficked women in real time. They stole all my money out of my bank account. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I'm richer than that. He stole 30 million from me. My I'm richer than LeBron James. Don't let him. Nike is my company for real. I'm tired of you, motherfucker. I've been humble my whole my man. Since y'all found out that I was Cappy Marie Pondex with that who? And in these videos, she goes on to say that she has been kidnapped for the past two years by LeBron James. She then proceeded to go on a mega rant about LeBron saying he traffics girls and then he stole money from her. If you believe anything this woman says in those videos, there's something wrong with you because there's just no way and no shot any of this is true. If you're going to say LeBron kidnapped you, one, I'm still not going to believe it. But to say he kidnapped you and you've been missing with him for two years, come on now. Two years ago, she was running her own businesses, so even if she is trying to lie, she's doing a bad job because she has zero facts to back it up. I have the perfect word to describe a person like this. If you go in the dictionary and look up the word delusional, that's exactly what it is. I'm not too sure how much of the Instagram live I'm going to throw up on the screen because... I don't want to bore you guys with stupid nonsense. I don't even know where to start with this. The only thing I can even think is that she's doing this for clout and attention, but that backfired because nobody's giving her any attention and the media's not even talking about it. I think the main reason the media's not even giving it attention is because they know that's what she wants. Or on the other hand, this could be true too. We have a person who is insane and out of their mind and they need some serious help. To make allegations like that, look, imagine you, you're just chilling at home and then you see people showing you videos of a person saying that you kidnapped them. You'd be pretty upset about that or concerned. And then at the same time, she's saying that LeBron is trafficking people. Like, it's ridiculous. Before we go any farther, I know some of you may be getting ready to comment some hateful stuff towards this woman and... She doesn't need that. What she needs is for us to keep her in our prayers and thoughts because she needs prayers and she needs help. I'm not even going to label this as her trolling because even the best troll in the world, Jake Paul or somebody else, they wouldn't even say this outlandish stuff. How would LeBron even get away with something like that? I don't even know and I don't even want to think about it. There's not a good place to end this video so... I think I've said all I needed to say. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this. But with all that being said, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. If you're new to the channel, wait on. Join the family. Hit that subscribe button and leave a like for more. And as always, let's be great. I'm out, y'all. Yeah. Peace.